A fully preserved woolly mammoth with flowing blood has been found trapped in the Siberian ice and has been miraculously preserved for thousands of years. The discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, raising the possibility of cloning these prehistoric beasts and unlocking the secrets of their genetic makeup. With well-preserved muscle tissue and blood samples, this discovery is nothing short of a miracle and has reignited the debate about the ethics and feasibility of bringing extinct creatures back to life. If you thought Jurassic Park was just a work of fiction, think again. This discovery could change everything we thought we knew about extinct species. The discovery of a preserved woolly mammoth with flowing blood is a game-changing moment in the field of paleontology. This remarkable find is the first time that a woolly mammoth has been discovered with well-preserved blood, and it opens up a whole new world of possibilities for researchers. The mammoth was found on the Lyakovsky Islands in the Arctic seas of Russia's northeast, and is believed to be between 50 to 60 years old. Woolly mammoths are thought to have become extinct between 10,000 and 4,000 years ago. But the discovery of this specimen is so significant because it was so well preserved, allowing scientists to study its physical characteristics in unprecedented detail. So what makes the mammoth so well preserved? The mammoth is thought to have been preserved due to a combination of factors, including the unique conditions of the Arctic region and the fact that the animal fell into the water or got bogged down in a swamp, could not free herself, and died. This meant that the lower part of the body, including the lower jaw and tongue tissue, was preserved very well. In addition, the mammoth did not defrost and then freeze again, which helped to preserve the upper torso and two legs. Although these parts of the body were gnawed by prehistoric and modern predators, they were still well preserved enough to provide valuable scientific insights. The mammoth's blood is incredibly significant because it's never been studied before. This is the first time that scientists have had the opportunity to study blood samples from an extinct species, and it has the potential to provide valuable insights into the physiology of the woolly mammoth. For example, scientists hope to learn more about the mammoth's immune system and how it was adapted to the cold climate of the Arctic. The mammoth's blood could also have practical applications in modern medicine. For example, the study of the mammoth's blood could lead to the development of new treatments for hypothermia and other conditions related to low temperatures. In addition to the study of the mammoth's blood, this discovery has the potential to provide valuable insights into the mammoth's genetic makeup. While most of the scientific community remains skeptical that cloning mammoths is possible, this discovery provides a rare opportunity to study the genetic material of an extinct species and potentially bring it back to life. The discovery could serve as a starting point for further scientific research and exploration of the possibilities for the revival of extinct species, with profound implications for the future of science and the world we live in. This is a historic moment in scientific research. The unique discovery of a mammoth specimen so well preserved provides great opportunity for scientists. The significance of this discovery is not only limited to the scientific field, but has implications for the world as a whole, including medicine and conservation. Woolly mammoths are fascinating creatures that roamed the Earth during the last ice age. They are closely related to modern-day elephants and lived in the northern regions of Europe, Asia, and North America. The woolly mammoth was an herbivore and was well adapted to the cold temperatures of the ice age, with its long, shaggy coat providing insulation against the cold. Woolly mammoths evolved over thousands of years to become one of the most well-adapted animals of their time. They had a unique set of physical characteristics, including long, curved tusks, large ears, and a thick layer of fat beneath their skin. These features allowed them to survive in harsh, cold environments where other animals could not. Despite their impressive adaptations, woolly mammoths eventually died out around 4,000 years ago. The reasons for their extinction are not entirely clear, but scientists have suggested a combination of factors, including climate change, human hunting, and disease. As the Earth warmed, the mammoth's habitats became less hospitable, and they struggled to adapt to the changing conditions. At the same time, humans were spreading across the world, hunting and killing mammoths for food and other resources. Recent research has shed new light on the history of woolly mammoths. Over the years, scientists have discovered a number of well-preserved mammoth remains, including a number of frozen mammoths found in the Siberian tundra. These discoveries have allowed scientists to study the mammoth's physical characteristics in exceptional detail, including their size, shape, and even their DNA. One of the most exciting developments in the study of woolly mammoths is a possibility of cloning. While most scientists remain skeptical that it's possible to clone mammoths, 
Recent advancements in genetic engineering have made the possibility of bringing extinct species back to life a very real possibility. In fact, scientists have already managed to sequence the complete genome of the woolly mammoth, raising the possibility of cloning a mammoth in the not-too-distant future. One of the primary concerns surrounding the cloning of extinct species is the possibility of creating Franken-species, animals that are genetically modified to an extent that they're no longer recognizable as the original species. This could have significant implications for the ecological balance of existing ecosystems, potentially leading to the displacement or extinction of other species. Additionally, the cloning of extinct species could divert resources and attention away from the conservation of endangered species that are still alive today. On the other hand, there are also significant benefits to consider. The revival of extinct species could provide valuable insights into the natural history of our planet, as well as the genetic makeup of these ancient creatures. This could lead to new medical breakthroughs and the development of new technologies. Additionally, the cloning of extinct species could provide a second chance for species that were driven to extinction by human activities, potentially allowing us to correct some of the damage we've caused to the natural world. In the middle of these two ideas, we see how bringing back extinct species and climate change could be related. While we think about bringing back animals like the woolly mammoth, their old homes in the Arctic are quickly changing because of global warming. The Arctic is melting faster than ever, and this not only affects animals living there now, but also brings up questions about if it's right or even possible to put extinct animals back into these changed places. We need to think about fixing past mistakes while also dealing with new problems. Climate change is having a profound impact on Arctic ecosystems, causing ice to melt and affecting the creatures that live in the region. The Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world, with average temperatures increasing by 2 to 3 degrees Celsius over the last century. This has led to the rapid melting of Arctic sea ice, which is expected to disappear entirely during the summer months within the next few decades. Many Arctic species, including the polar bear, walrus, and Arctic fox, rely on sea ice as a platform for hunting and breeding. As the ice disappears, these animals are being forced to adapt to new environments and behaviors, with potentially devastating consequences for their populations. The discovery of the preserved woolly mammoth is particularly significant in light of climate change because it provides valuable insights into how ancient creatures adapted to the changing conditions of the Arctic. As the Arctic warms, it's likely that we'll see more and more species struggling to adapt to the new conditions, potentially leading to mass extinctions and significant ecological disruptions. By studying the preserved woolly mammoth, scientists can gain valuable insights into how ancient creatures adapted to changing climate conditions. For example, the mammoth's unique adaptations to the cold climate of the Arctic could provide clues as to how other species might adapt to the changing conditions of the region. Additionally, the mammoth's preserved blood could provide insights into how the mammoth's immune system adapted to the cold, which could have implications for human health and medicine. As we stand on the brink of scientific possibilities, we're left to ponder the implications of this remarkable discovery. With the potential for new medical advancements, possible resurrection of extinct species, and insights into the effects of climate change, the woolly mammoth discovery is a testament to how far we've come and an exciting glimpse of what lies ahead. But as we continue to explore these intriguing possibilities, the question remains, will the woolly mammoth, once a resident of the icy Arctic, have a place in our rapidly warming world? Let us know in the comments what you think.